Hi everyone, how's it going today? Sorry, until today I have to use this narrator. This is really beyond my control. I have tried my best to restore it. I hope you won't have to wait too long for things to return to normal. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In the deep blue waters of the Indian Ocean by Madagascar, a skilled diver named Jack was exploring the mysterious depths of the ocean. He was on a mission to discover ancient artifacts and treasures hidden beneath the waves. As he was swimming deeper, he noticed a glimmering object that caught his eye. It was a giant helmet, unlike anything he had ever seen before. It was made of a material that was unfamiliar to him and seemed to be ancient with intricate designs etched onto its surface. Without hesitation, Jack carefully lifted the helmet from the ocean floor and brought it to the surface. He knew he had discovered something truly remarkable and couldn't wait to share his find with the world. After examining the helmet, archaeologists were astonished to find that it was over 1,000 years old and it had been created by a civilization that was completely unknown to mainstream history. It was an incredible discovery that would rewrite the history books. Interestingly, in nearly all ancient writings from all over the world, we find that in the past, giants walked among ordinary humans. But of course, mainstream history denies their existence. But the helmet was only the beginning. As researchers dug deeper into the history of Madagascar, they discovered something even more extraordinary. The island had once been home to a race of giants. These giants, known as the Vazimba, were said to have been over 10 feet tall and had incredible strength and agility. They had lived in Madagascar and had built great cities and temples across the island. The discovery of the giant helmet and the history of the Vazimba sparked a renewed interest in Madagascar's ancient past. Archaeologists from around the world flocked to the island to uncover more of its secrets. Jack, the diver who had discovered the helmet, became a hero among the people of Madagascar. His discovery had brought attention to the island's rich history. And so, the giant helmet that had been lying on the ocean floor for thousands of years had opened a window into Madagascar's past and sparked a renewed interest in its incredible history. What do you think? In the small town of Yamagata in Japan, an ancient burial site was uncovered by a group of archaeologists. They had been searching for evidence of Japan's ancient history, but what they found was truly remarkable. Among the ruins of an ancient burial chamber, they discovered a sarcophagus cover that was almost identical in shape to the ones made in ancient Egypt. It was a stunning discovery that left the archaeologists scratching their heads in confusion. The sarcophagus cover was made of a material that was native to Japan and it had been intricately carved with symbols and designs that were unique to the country's culture. But the shape of the cover was unmistakably Egyptian, with its long, slender shape and curved edges. Further examination of the burial chamber revealed that the tomb had been built over 1,500 years ago, which meant that the sarcophagus cover had been crafted at a time when there was no known contact between Egypt and Japan. This discovery sparked a wave of excitement among the archaeological community as it challenged the previously held beliefs about the ancient world and its connections. Theories emerged about possible ancient trade routes between the two countries, or even the possibility of ancient cultural exchange between them. Further investigation of the site revealed more surprising discoveries. The burial chamber was filled with artifacts that were not native to Japan, including a variety of precious stones and metals that were only found in other parts of the world. It was clear that the people who had built the tomb had extensive knowledge of other cultures, 
and had likely traveled extensively. The discovery of the sarcophagus cover was just one piece of evidence of their far-reaching connections. The discovery of the sarcophagus cover in Yamagata, Japan, remains a mystery to this day. What do you think? The destruction of false and diseased ways of thinking is an absolute necessity. Merely allowing others to cling to these toxic thoughts is not only perilous, but detrimental to their well-being, if you genuinely care about their welfare. For me, writing serves as a means of sowing seeds, seeds that target the insidious and virus-like beliefs that inhabit the minds of many. Such thoughts leave them disempowered, unable to thrive, and ensnared as slaves to their destructive ideals. These beliefs slowly corrode their souls and strip away everything of genuine worth. But this war we fight is not optional. It is one that is forced upon us, whether or not we actively participate in it. Thus, we must adopt various strategies to fight back. Firstly, freedom of the mind from falsehoods is crucial. Secondly, we must develop the strength of our wills, standing firmly for truth, health, and our greater good, no matter what the cost. Thirdly, educating the younger generation is vital to save them from dependency, weakness, and indoctrination. Lastly, survivalism is essential. We must be independent of the system and armed with knowledge and resources to produce our own generators for free energy, structures, and tools to cultivate food. Trust in your visions and your connection to the spiritual realm, irrespective of your religious beliefs. Together, as a united front, we can achieve our common goal. To all the good people, truthers, light workers, and light warriors out there, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your everyday battle. The dawn is upon us, my fellow light beings. From darkness to light, much love. Zach. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.